Wassail. So I'm here again. I'm going to do a reading today about this full moon that's coming up because it's a full moon in Libra and um, having looked at the astrology and the heliocentric version of the cosmos, there's a lot happening, particularly the sun, which has just come out um, all over me, um, is sitting with Uranus Gaia, um, our consciousness behind it. And so it's going to heat up and expand our consciousness. And Mars is down the bottom in with the cluster of the three great karmic um, planets. And these are going to start to do the big awakening. Veils really are going to start to slip away. So I thought I would just try and see what really positive messages we have. Because there's, a, there's still a tremendous layer of fear and anxiety being peddled. And... Uh, we're still not being given the full truth of things that are going on. And so I'd like to have some messages from the natural world, from the earth, from Pachamama, as to the joys that are heading towards us. This is such, a, the honesty, the energy I feel underneath the fear is just so divinely beautiful and strong and loving and caring sweat lodge that was on the bottom of the deck just now as well um it's a gateway it, you know it is about purifying and we are going to be purifying all sorts of things it's a nine it's 54 it's a divine number we're all stepping into a new dawn with the natural world so natural world please what messages do you have the natural world is saying you didn't ring the bells for me. <laughs> so here's the bells. You see, interestingly, the energy of the first one was um, elevated, sort of in the air, not connected. And then the second one immediately uh it wrapped itself around the energy of the first one and held it and then the third bell just softly delivered what's going forward so now uh pack a mama what beautiful messages do you have for us two cards really plucked out oh my goodness so taming of the wind 55 we're taming our wind. We're taming the wind of everything that has taken place for us. Now that's 54 and 55. I mean, it's really telling you this is the natural progression and it's nothing to fear. 9, 549, 5, 5, 10, completion, a new beginning. It's a new beginning and we're readying ourselves for it. And the second card that came out is the beauty way. I mean, such a glorious message. I'm going to leave those cards there and take this double deck. This is the good tarot and the animal spirits of Colette Baron Reed. We have three that have turned over, including 18, the moon. And this is a reading about this moon. So what other messages do you have? Let's just take these five that have come out to start with. So we have the moon. This is a big, full moon. And in the card, there's a figure seated on the end of the moon, throwing down cosmic energy to everybody. This, this moon is the next key part of this journey and then we have 14 which is another major arcana card um and this is a five and fives are when you've gone too far ahead and it's oh that's so beautiful so 
I always talk about this little star here in the background waiting unseen and here is the moon waiting we're waiting for this wonderful energy now to just start pouring down if you're open to these energies they're already there they're in the earth grid and they're really resonating and it's followed by the six of fire and the six of fire is about us taking off it's about a sense of our ship that's so often seen in so many cards as being in troubled waters is just being elevated and lifted from the traumas so it's our consciousness gaia Uranus, lifting us with and it's in sun energy because this is the orange color of the sun bringing strength and warmth and beauty to everything the beauty way and then we have two more cards. Wow, 1661. I mean, look that up. So we have the tower. And this is a really gentle tower. This is a tower with sunlight beginning to burst behind it. There's no sense of destruction. It's just a sense of natural progression, natural change. And 16 is a 7. Um, seven's a magical pathways forward, 61 is a seven, another magical pathway forwards. So we have 77, um, turkey spirit, give with gratitude and grace. We're learning through this spiritual expansion that's taking place in our consciousness due at this Libra full moon to really feel gratitude and grace to start to understand sharing sharing i just want to say humankind again because i think it's a really important word that we need to be holding on to because words have power and the more we talk about humankind rather than global population humankind reaches out to itself it supports itself. It is that giving with gratitude and grace. <coughs> then we have 62. So following 61, we have 62. And this is the earth. This turtle represents the earth. I know that's that kind of, you know, joke about Terry Pratchett novels, but slow and steady wins this race. This is about the entire earth moving slowly through energy dimensions to come to a new understanding and a new place and that's it's very beautiful and we have the ace of fire with it and again that's this the new beginning you know this is us waiting waiting slowly patiently patience the card of patience we're waiting patiently, not panicking, not fearing, but just if you can sit in the knowledge that this beautiful transformative energy is taking place around us, then when this moon arrives, your orb that you're sitting on will begin to take off and lift you and lift everybody out of the fears. So I'm just going to take some animal spirits, because I want to keep this short. But So animal spirits. What do the animal spirits of the natural world want to tell us about the wonderful energies coming towards us? What messages do you have, please? A lot of messages. They've got a lot to say. Wow. So I'm going to start with these two, raccoon and black egg. Black egg represents the truth. Mercury is the planet of speaking our truths. And Mercury has positioned itself far around with a direct connection to Neptune. And Neptune is those very old icy beliefs that we just can't let go of. And Venus last year, well, this year, January time, 
went by, kissed it, to just kiss Neptune, to start melting those uh, deep set emotions. And so right at the moment with this full moon, the truth is emerging. You can't stop this raccoon truth. Everything's gonna stop being gray and there's gonna be clarity. Things are going to seem very black and white, but not with any purpose of retribution, just knowledge to make us feel calmer. And then we have gazelle and otter. Also a card's just fallen from the deck to go with, it just slipped off the top. It's the king of earth. This is us. We are meant to be the kings of earth, the, the monarchs, the people completely in Zen balance with the natural world. How do we get that? Playfulness, playfulness. We've got to start being more playful. Sit up to the beauty. Otter is all about emotional playfulness. Not having emotions revealed to you that create trauma, but actually to allow them to trickle out in a very playful and joyful way. And we have gazelle. Gazelle is fire, but gazelle also represents earth, divine, feminine energy connected. And that's what this is all about at the moment. Mars is all down on its own, uh, sitting with the energy of Jupiter and Pluto and a little bit of Saturn, those three karmic things trying to draw us down, our molecules into the earth, so that the Gaia, Uranus, consciousness can be heated up by the sun. Look, there it is, heating up around her connection to the cosmos. It's complete stillness and calm. And, and it really, this is the energy I feel every day that no one else seems to be enjoying. And I keep trying to make people understand to connect to it because it's a much more comfortable place to be. And it's been quite difficult. And then we have earthworm and starfish. So emotions and earthing. This is us untangling and finding our place in the earth. This is the energy coming through the galactic center of the universe, which is in Sagittarius. And that's affecting the energy of the three karmic planets at the moment. And starfish is regeneration. This is to be renewed. Okay, so I'm getting a side message from them, which I need to pull cards on rather than just talking to you about. So can we please rifle them? Yeah, okay. So just to get this done before it gets to too long a video, can you please explain the message of the regeneration of starfish? Please explain the message. The regeneration of the starfish card, please. Can you explain the message? Right, so. It's a lot to do with thought, uh, ideas and healings which I knew it was, but I just needed them to give me a bit more information. So we have the two of... The two of wands and the nine of wands. This is a spiritual warrior that keeps climbing up towards the light. And this is to hold your vision. We all now have to begin to understand that this is change. It's great change. It's positive change. It's wonderful futures coming towards us but we have to hold our vision in calmness. And that's how we climb this staircase. And we're being gifted with a cosmic healing. The star card, and we had the star earlier, remember? Just in here. And when the full moon arrives, more star energy coming down. Cosmic energy is pushing down to bring a healing. Now, what they're saying to me is that uh, the molecules that we live in will heal. The energies coming up from the earth grid that are going to rewrite and restructure our DNA are going to heal 
everybody, regardless of the illness they have, the only thing they're not going to heal is emotions. This is physical healing. And then we're going to be in this sense of, and I don't want you to be frightened by this because it's so beautiful, the inner turmoils of having never been able to face our emotional truths will be left here with us. And that's when the real healing begins because the frequency of the inner turmoil is what's creating the, uh, the idea of the illnesses that we have within us. Just, you know, Louise O'Hay and all of that kind of beautiful um, stuff that she's been writing for a long time and trying to get out there. It's about how our mental issues create the uh, discomforts, the disease within our body. And that's all going to start to be moved through healing that's going to come down from the cosmos. But it's about us playfully seeing our emotional truths. Now, I'm just going to take these cards again and just finish with these. Can you please tell me how this will take place? How will this move forwards? That's a fair bunch of cards. So we have 31 and 9, Groundhog Spirit, time to let go, Brown Bear Spirit, time to take time out. This is what we're doing. We're all now being asked to take time out from the speed of everything that's been going on and just focus on a healing within ourselves to find truth, to face some of these emotions that we've just rushed around in the earth to stop seeing. Um, and then we have antelope spirit, which is number two. Life is speeding up. Life is speeding up. All, at the moment, all of the planets are moving direct. And this is making everything feel very, very fast. There is a stale, static boredom. But underneath, the energy underneath that panic is this wonderful, gentle... It's fast but it, and it's coming, but it's so... Oh, it's so loving and that's underneath everything and that comes with the queen of fire this is uh gaia i'm being told right now this is gaia coming to fix our hearts we need to fix our connection to the lower world and then after that venus the higher heart chakra will have its moment in the sun and that will fix the upper heart and that's when we become this is a card of collaboration. This is also a card of rebirthing ourselves from... It's almost like this is the heavy stone figure that we've become as we've been crushed into the world that we've all been living in. And it's about breaking free. One Touch Venus, the, the, the mannequin that comes to life. Um, that's us. We're all coming to life. So i think that's a lovely message to be putting out there at the moment and it's i'm just going to end by just holding up this is where we're going we are all going to the beauty way the natural world is coming to support us you will see insects you will see plants appearing you will see spring burgeoning all over the world at the same time and that's how we will know that there is the force of nature that is way bigger than all of the people, governments, leaders, corporations that think they know better than us. They don't know better than us and they certainly don't know better than Gaia. So keep safe and keep trying to find the energy of the earth. It's so important, okay? It'll really help to keep the calm and bring about the energetic changes that we all need. So anyway, that's my message for today. What's well, that, everyone?